Hey guys, I'm Rob. Today I'd like to share with you one of my favorite cauliflower recipes. To be honest with you, when I was a kid, I always hated this vegetable because people usually just boil it and give it to eat straight away. But after some research, I learned how to cook it properly and today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite cauliflower soups. We start by going to the garden and look for good cauliflowers. At the end of summer, I tried to plant some cabbages, but I couldn't keep them alive. So I went to my grandmother's cabbage field and gave her some help, and she taught me some good planting techniques. Hopefully, I'll have a good cabbage field next year, just like my grandmother's. Check out this beautiful cauliflower. Look at it, so beautiful. If we look closely, we notice they are full of snails. But I'm completely fine with it because that means this is all organic and there is no chemicals. Look, look another one. Let go. We will start by slicing an onion and the leek coming straight from the garden. Add them to the pan with some olive oil. Cook these vegetables for about 5 to 7 minutes until they become soft. Add some boiling water, cut the cauliflower in pieces and add it, half of it, to the pan. Leave it to boil for 15 minutes. Now we are going to add the remaining half. So the first half is cooked for about 30 to 40 minutes to have a more well cooked and creamy flavors. And the second half is cooked for about 15 to 20 minutes to have a more green and sharp flavors. So this way in the same soup we have two different flavors and textures from the same ingredient. Place it in a blender at high speed for about 60 seconds. Then you should have a creamy puree. Season it with salt, add some water until you get the perfect consistency. And the good thing about this cauliflower is that you can get this creamy consistency without getting cream. And the soup is ready. For garnish, just heat up a saute with some olive oil Cut some cauliflower pieces and let them to caramelize. This will make all the difference to the soup. Quickly go to the garden to pick up some fresh spring onions, serve the soup, garnish with caramelized cauliflower, sprinkle it with spring onions and a little bit of olive oil. And it's ready to eat. I just love this soup. It's amazing the combination between the caramelized cauliflower with the puree. And it's so, so simple to do. I would highly recommend you to make this one at home. And that's it, guys. I hope you love this recipe as much as I do. Um, this is incredible, easy, and so, so delicious. Especially if you buy all these ingredients from the organic shop or collect it from the garden. And thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe if you don't want to miss any new video of plant-based recipes coming straight from the garden. And I'll see you soon.